A Community in Anguish, The Disappearance of Devin Marsman, February 2022. It was a cold, quiet month, but the hearts of the Halifax community were warm and full of hope. Halifax, Nova Scotia was a community like any other. Families went about their daily routines, children played in parks, the city was alive with the sounds of laughter and the hustle and bustle of everyday life. But all of that changed in an instant. 16-year-old Devin Marsman vanished without a trace. The news spread quickly, and the sense of normalcy was shattered. He was last seen on a Friday afternoon. It was just another day, or so it seemed. Devin had plans to meet friends, but he never showed up. He was supposed to meet friends. He never showed up. Days turned into weeks. Weeks turned into months. The waiting was unbearable, and the community's anxiety grew with each passing day. Fear and worry gripped the community. Where was Devin? The search efforts intensified, but there were no leads, no clues, just a void of uncertainty. What had happened to him? The questions lingered, unanswered. The police worked tirelessly, but the mystery only deepened. The not knowing was the hardest part. Every knock on the door, every phone call brought a glimmer of hope, only to be dashed by the reality of Devon's absence. Devon's disappearance sent shockwaves through Halifax. The media coverage was relentless, and the community was thrust into the spotlight. This wasn't supposed to happen here. Not to Devon. The disbelief was palpable, and the community struggled to come to terms with the tragedy. He was a good kid. Devon was known for his bright smile and kind heart. He had dreams and aspirations, just like any other teenager. He had his whole life ahead of him. School graduation, future aspirations, all of it now seemed uncertain. His disappearance was a parent's worst nightmare. The pain and anguish of not knowing where their child was, was unbearable. As time passed, the mystery deepened. Hope started to dwindle. The once vibrant posters began to fade, and the streets felt emptier. But the community of Halifax refused to give up. They came together, united in their determination to find Devon. They rallied around Devon's family. They organized searches. They put up flyers. Every effort was made to keep Devon's memory alive and to bring him home. They prayed for his safe return. Candlelight vigils were held, and the community's hope burned bright, even in the darkest of times. They wouldn't let Devon be forgotten. His memory lived on in the hearts of those who knew him, and the search for answers continued. A mother's tireless pursuit, the search for Devon. Teresa Gray, Devon's mother, was living a nightmare. Her son, her baby, was gone. She refused to believe he was gone forever. She clung to hope. She had to find him. She wouldn't rest until she did. Teresa became Devon's voice. She organized vigils. She spoke at community events. She pleaded for anyone with information to come forward. She kept Devon's case in the public eye. She wouldn't let him fade into the background. Teresa's strength and determination were inspiring. She channeled her grief into action. She became a beacon of hope for other families of missing children. She showed them that they weren't alone. Teresa's love for her son was unwavering. She never gave up hope. She knew in her heart that someone, somewhere, knew something. She just needed them to come forward. The investigation unfolds. A glimmer of hope and a community's determination. The disappearance of Devon had left a void in the hearts of many. The community came together, united in their determination to find answers. The Halifax police launched a full-scale investigation. They followed every lead. They interviewed countless people, hoping to uncover any piece of information that could bring them closer to finding Devon. They searched tirelessly for any sign of Devon. 
The search parties combed through dense forests, abandoned buildings, and every conceivable hiding place. The community watched and waited, hoping for a break in the case. Every news update was met with bated breath, every rumor scrutinized for a glimmer of truth. Months turned into a year. The passage of time weighed heavily on everyone involved, but the hope for Devon's return never waned. The trail seemed to go cold, leads that once seemed promising turned into dead ends, and the frustration grew. But the police refused to give up. They held regular meetings, brainstorming new strategies, and revisiting old evidence with fresh eyes. They announced a $250,000 reward for information leading to Devon's whereabouts. This substantial reward was a testament to their commitment. It was the largest reward ever offered in a missing person case in Nova Scotia. The announcement spread quickly, reigniting interest in the case. The reward money was a sign. It showed that the authorities were leaving no stone unturned in their quest for answers. The police were taking this case seriously. Their dedication was unwavering, and their resolve only strengthened with time. They were determined to find Devon. Every piece of evidence was meticulously analyzed, every theory considered. The community felt a renewed sense of hope. The reward brought a surge of new tips and leads, and the community rallied once more. Maybe, just maybe, this would be the breakthrough they had been waiting for. The investigation continued with renewed vigor. Leads were followed and dismissed. Each new piece of information was carefully vetted, and the search for the truth pressed on. Theories were explored and discarded. The process was painstaking, but the police remained undeterred. The police worked tirelessly, determined to bring closure to Devon's family and to the community. Their dedication was a beacon of hope in a time of uncertainty. Section 4. A Heartbreaking Discovery. The case takes a tragic turn. Then, a devastating discovery. Human remains were found in a wooded area outside of Halifax. The news spread like wildfire. Could it be Devon? The community held its breath, bracing for the worst. Forensic testing confirmed everyone's worst fears. The remains were those of Devon Marsman. The missing person case was now a homicide investigation. The news sent shockwaves through Halifax. Devon was gone. He had been murdered. The community was in mourning. Devon's family was devastated. Their worst nightmare had come true. The pain was unbearable. How could this have happened? Who would do such a thing? The discovery of Devon's remains brought a wave of grief and anger. The community demanded justice. They wanted answers. They wanted to know who was responsible for this senseless act of violence. Section 5. Justice sought arrests made in connection with Devon's death. The police investigation intensified. They followed new leads, meticulously piecing together the puzzle.